Hi, uh, today we're going to look at a little Springer that was made in the 60s and early 70s. This is a Daisy 220 made by uh, Melbourne in Scotland. It's basically similar to a Diana rifle. Anyway, this is the 177. It's a sweet little plinking gun. It's good. It's it's you know, no long range gun or anything, but it sure is fun plinking indoors when it's cold outside. So anyway, the, the barrel on this is a brass barrel that's been rifled, and it runs through this steel barrel. I'm going to show it to you a little closer. Most of your springers have the seal on this side. It doesn't. The seal for this is, is on the chamber, on, the, on, the, on this side over here. So let me show this to you real quick, and then we're going to go shoot it. There's what the butt looks like. There is no safety on this gun. It's a pretty cute little gun. It has the little sight post on it like most of your older guns do. Rear sight has an adjustment. It, uh, you can adjust it side to side. You have to tap on it here in order to adjust it side by side with that dovetail. And it also has the up and down adjustment. Anyway, this is a fun little gun. Uh, I picked it up and it was it was in good shape but not great shape and I've completely redone it. It shoots real good now. So anyway, let's go shoot this. shoot this little uh, this little Daisy 220 from about 25 feet at uh, a paper target and we're also going to shoot it at a clay block just to kind of see what the penetration is like. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to shoot five pellets and then five uh, lead BBs at about 25 feet. There, there was five, uh, five pellets. 
Now we're going to shoot five lead BBs. I think that BB rolled right through. Let's do another one. Okay, I guess we won't shoot lead BBs because they just seem to roll right through the barrel on this. So I'm going to shoot a couple more lead pellets for you. And I'm going to also shoot that piece of clay underneath. We're going to check out the penetration of this little rifle. Boy, that one was way off. I must have moved. Okay, let's check this out. This is from 25 feet. There's some, look at that nice little group right there. There's like, I can see one, two, three, four, possibly, I don't know, there's four or five right in that little spot right there. And then, Here's that clay block that I shot. I shot it, what, four times? And we're going to dig into there and see how far this little uh, daisy one. Very fun gun. It was made by uh, Millborough of Scotland. This one here was probably made in the early 60s. A lot of fun on a cold, wintry day. So anyway, here's where I shot that piece of clay with the uh, little Daisy 220. So I'm going to cut into that now and then we'll show it to you. So if you can see it here, it went in, well, maybe about three quarters of an inch. I didn't expect it to go in a whole lot. It's not a powerful gun, but I just wanted to kind of see how deep it would penetrate in there. So that's the uh, Daisy 220. It's really fun to shoot. Uh, I like to shoot these inside when it's cold out. I hope you enjoyed my video.